have a subtlety, are you? Not really. Just give me your back. Sort of. You don't like it? Hey guys, and CS Fan 00 winner, welcome to the road to my 286th Platinum Trophy. I already saw it unlocked because I had failed at that one trophy multiple times and I didn't want to keep wasting time trying to record it, so I just recorded the visuals of it. Anyway, today's game was Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, the PS4 game. It's another entry in the Uncharted franchise. It is a pretty solid game and it's one of the easiest Uncharted Platinums there is. Even, excuse me there guys, even though it has that 2.2% ultra rare, which is... It's a bit surprising because it hasn't hasn't been like a PS Plus game or anything. So you'll get a couple trophies for completing the game and completing it on crushing. Uh, crushing in this game is pretty much a joke because you can use uh, infinite ammo, weapon select, and lock on aim once you've beaten the game once. You can go for crushing right as you start the game. And crushing still isn't that bad in this game because it's a shorter game and I felt like there's a lot less combat in this one overall. Uh, the only hard part of crushing really is the very last, like, final boss fight because it's melee based. And anyone who knows Uncharted knows that final boss fights in Uncharted games are always horribly designed, especially for crushing and brutal mode. So that's by far the worst part on crushing. Otherwise, it's pretty much a joke as long as you use the cheats and stuff. Uh, then you have your collectibles. There are 68 treasures. Uh, Skelsier is one of the treasures. You get him in Chapter 8. Because the game's only nine chapters, a prologue, and a, and a finale, with the finale just being a cutscene. Uh, there are 11 Hoysala tokens you have to collect. That's all in Chapter 4. Uh, there's lock boxes. I don't remember exactly how many of those there are. I don't remember how many photos there are. But you basically... All of those trophies so far are collectible trophies. They are typical. Follow a guide. You'll get all the trophies. No problem. Uh, then this one, use every gun in the game. I guess that's technically collectible. You'll actually get be able to do that from the weapon select thing once you have beaten the game. You can do that for everything except for there's like a heavy machine gun you can only get a couple times that you also have to use. Uh, that one's pretty much guaranteed. That one's pretty much guaranteed as long as you're using the auto aim. Uh, this one, you have to kill the enemies without their bodies even being noticed. That's what I wasn't realizing, but you might still get it naturally. If not, it's still not that hard. Uh, these two are both very simple. Uh, this one is a little bit more complicated, but you can easily grind it out in like the helicopter uh, fight toward the end of the game. Uh, 20 enemies with C4, that's easy. There's places to grind it. This one, unfortunately, does not carry over between like when you do chapter select for different areas, which is really, really annoying. So you have to do it all in a single encounter if you're doing it through encounter select or I would highly suggest just make sure to go for this on your first run of the game because you can't do it on crushing. Uh, that's pretty much guaranteed. That one, you can do it on the sixth level. Uh, this one I thought was going to be one of the worst and it was until I realized that you can be discovered like they can actually see you as long as you get away from them and hide it, you're fine. So if I had known that, this one wouldn't have been anywhere near as bad as it was because I was having some trouble with it. You have to. There's a few places you can do it. Uh, that's easy. Uh, that one is kind of glitchy. There's only a few places you can do it. Uh, this is one of the more obnoxious trophies in the game. You have to complete the first four chapters in the prologue without firing a weapon or using a grenade. Uh, it's not that hard, but it means that you'll have to go back to those levels to get a few collectibles because you can't get to some of them. Uh, this one's easy. This one, it gave me a little more trouble than it should have, but I was just, it was because I was rushing it too much. It was my fault. Uh, that one's pretty much guaranteed. That one's very easy. Uh, that, and now we're getting to the mission chapter specific trophies. Uh, this is from chapter two. It's pretty easy as long as you know about it. Uh, this one, you have to climb to the very top of a tower in like the fourth chapter. Uh, that's the fourth chapter. That's the fourth chapter. Uh, that's the fourth chapter. And this one's also the fourth chapter. And this one is best grinded in the fourth chapter, so those are all best done there. This one, I think, is in the fifth chapter. This one, I believe, is in the fifth chapter. Uh, this one, I don't remember where I got it, but apparently it's not that hard to get. Uh, this one is in the sixth chapter. Uh, this is the eighth chapter. Yeah, that's the eighth chapter. 
that's the eighth chapter. Uh, this is all the ninth chapter. And that one is a little bit earlier in the game. I don't remember exactly where. So basically, it's broken into a bunch of miscellaneous trophies, including some chapter-specific ones, collectibles, and then it, it's very similar to the Uncharted 4 list, pretty much. I didn't mind the game. I didn't like it as much as Uncharted 4, partially because of a couple of issues with the game. Like, mostly the trophy delay, like, it has a bit of a trophy delay, almost like it was on PS3. And also, the game takes forever to load half the time. But anyway, level 54, 45%, 13,406 total trophies, 286 platinums, uh, 1,515 golds, 3,373 silvers, 8,232 bronzes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you for the next one.